I don't trust Jehovah Witnesses. <laughs> that's, a, that's a harsh way to start. Uh, hi, how's everybody doing? You doing good? You good? All right. I don't trust Jehovah Witnesses. Oh, uh, because they call themselves Christians, but they think nobody should drink. Jesus' first miracle was turning water to wine. You confront them about that, and they go, oh, but there's a distinction. Really? Because you guys don't make a distinction between a doctor cutting you open to save your life and somebody cut your open because you didn't hand over your wallet quick enough. <laughs> and, and they think nobody should drink. Like I, I think everyone. It's, I don't think everybody should drink. I think it should be a personal choice. I'm actually a recovering alcoholic. What I mean by that is I've hidden some drinks around the room. I'll be recovering them later. <laughs> but that was my personal choice. All right? Everybody else, you, you should have that choice. Like, the idea that somebody says nobody should drink, you know there's a story. <laughs> like, I think early in the book of Jehovah, there's like one morning they woke up go, oh, whoa, oh shit, what happened last night? Oh crap, we gotta clean this all up, Bob? You get rid of the goat? We'll never talk about this again. <laughs> nobody can ever drink again. And that, that was it. Uh, I, uh, I'm uh, actually uh, an actor, comedian. Uh, it's actor first because actor pays the bills. It's Canadian show business. Uh, I'm, I'm Canadian famous. Canadian famous differs from American famous. American famous is, uh, hey, aren't you that guy from that show? Canadian famous is, hey, aren't you that guy that dated my cousin? Like, <laughs> There's a difference. I, I'm actually, uh, lately I've been doing a lot of uh, true crime stuff, which is I'm um, hoping I'm not being recognized for. But uh, <laughs> there, there is, the thing is though, with being a, an actor comedian, it's, it helps me get work. I get to say, oh, you put this guy on, it's hey, that's the guy that you've seen from that show, which is great. All right? And like I said, the true crime, like, uh, it's rough. Like, I actually, I had one show where I had to shave my beard uh, and, and mustache uh, to play, a, I know, it's fucking rough. I mean, I'm, no, the idea of me, like, shaving facial hair, it's horrible. The idea of growing back that mustache is, was painful. Like, I, I'm so bad at growing facial hair. If you don't think I'm bad at growing facial hair, tell me exactly where are my eyebrows. <laughs> Seriously, they fucking never shaved them. They're still there, I think. Uh, but he, I actually, I got to play. I got to play this grieving father who's been just been told his son's been murdered and decapitated, and they can't find the head. Cody. <laughs> I actually, uh, I, I got this one uh, gig, I was on a Canadian detective uh, with, with Hugh Dillon, with, uh, sorry, I, uh, I, uh, I just dropped a name, and, uh, oh, fuck it for me, you fuckers, alright, uh, on that with Hugh Dillon, uh, and uh, I went in, I auditioned, they had me do this weird physical stuff, and then I got told, I had to roll, uh, so I went in, and they emailed me the script, uh, told me what day to show up, and here it was, like, they told me it was an SOC, which is silent on camera, which meant I didn't have any lines. So I said, cool, I'll just go in. I'm not going to bother reading the script. I should have read the script. <laughs> because I show up on set to find out that I'm playing a convicted pedophile <laughs> who may have reoffended. No spoilers. Uh, I auditioned for that. I walked through a doorway that 19 other guys who look like me walked through. And somebody went, he touches kids. <laughs> I actually, uh, I, this, this summer, I went through a, a big milestone for me as an actor. Uh, I got my first speaking role in a French language film. I don't even speak French. <laughs> I, I'm in this French film playing uh, a German sex tourist. <laughs> so, actually, now I'm beginning to think I might be being typecast. Uh, I might have to rethink this mustache, but it's. Uh, but I, 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 like, I've been living in Montreal for 11 years. I don't speak a word of French. No, not don't don't woo that. No, this is not this is not this is not obstinance. You are right. I should be able to speak French. It's the learning disability level. Like. I, my girlfriend is French, and I don't speak French. We never argue. I mean, occasionally she mumbles at me in French. I just think it's positive, and we move on. 
but like I, I, I don't, I don't like, I don't even speak all of English yet. I'm still learning new words. Like, I, just, I just learned a word. Uh, what was it? Uh, defenestrate. Do you know what defenestrate is? Defenestrate means to throw someone through a window. Yeah, we've got a word for that. Do you know what you say when somebody throws you off a cliff? <laughs> Sorry, to throw someone off. If somebody throws you off a cliff, what you say is, ah! All right, to, to throw someone off a cliff, do you know what the word is for that? No, to throw someone off a cliff, or murder. You're right, murder is a good word. But it's to throw someone off of a cliff, like that. Like, I'm pretty sure we've had cliffs a lot longer than we've had windows. Why do windows get the big fancy word? Right, defend the straight also means to pull someone from power, and it's a long word, so I imagine it's being used in Washington quite often. <laughs> You're a nice crowd, just a little bit slow. Okay. Uh, here, here's a, another one. Uh, do you know what you say when you throw somebody into a volcano? It's called appeasement. <laughs> that, that, that's what it is. Basically, shit starts going wrong in your village, and what you do is you try to find the virgin, you get the virgin, you take, take them up there, and then you toss them in the vo volcano, and then shit's still going wrong in your village, and so you have to go, oh shit, I guess oral counts. And, <laughs> and, and you, you look around your village, you look around your village, and you go, oh crap, what, like, like, what, 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 what can we do? What we have that, that's a virgin? And you only got the one goat in the village, so fuck, that's a safety one. Let's grab the goat up, you go and you toss that in, and then shit's still going wrong in your village. And then you remember the week that you actually wrote the book of Jehovah. <laughs> when it comes time to vote, my name is Paul Ash, I'm pretty glad my parents are named Jack. <laughs> <laughs>